Hello my friends, Gabriel here, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to present you with uh, Android 5 Lollipop on the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. As you already know, the official update is available for downloading. But uh, unfortunately, yet again, at least for me, I always have to update my uh, Sony devices using Flash Tool. Because apparently Sony doesn't give uh, a lot of shit on uh, European users, they only release updates uh, for the carriers and uh, unlocked uh, devices such as uh, this one right here have to wait uh, for a long long period uh, until they are able to update uh, to the latest build. Fortunately there is flash tool, there is Xperia firm so uh, I could flash the update and if you are subscribed to my channel, you already seen the screen recorder uh, first impressions with uh, Android 5 uh, Lollipop on the Sony Xperia Z Ultra a couple of days ago. Right now I'm gonna detail a bit in this video all the new things, uh, the good things and uh, the bad things that uh, came with this um, update. So uh, let's start with uh, the first things. Uh, let's go to the lock screen. As you can see, right now we have uh, three shortcuts right here. Uh, we can make a direct uh, phone call right from the uh, lock screen. We can um, open the camera and we can also unlock uh, the device. In terms of interface, if you're already familiar with uh, Android 5 on other devices, uh, the story is pretty much the same on the Sony Z Ultra couple of things have uh, changed in terms of the interface, the notification tray uh, looks a bit different. Now we have uh, the capability to add uh, multiple accounts, uh, multiple users. We can also edit uh, the shortcuts in the status bar in the notification tray by uh, long pressing and dragging them. And uh, of course uh, we can always go uh, straight to, uh, to the settings uh, if you want. Let's go to about phone, as you can see Android 5.0.2 Lollipop and this is build 242 for the Sony Xperia Z Ultra, as you can see mine is uh, the international LTE 4G model, the C6833. So what are the novelties uh, for the Sony Xperia Z Ultra? Let's start with uh, something that I noticed in accessibility. And this is that uh, now we have the possibility to use color inversion and uh, also color correction. It uh, does state that uh, this is uh, an experimental feature, so uh, be aware of this. Also, if we go to the display now the auto brightness is gone or not really uh, it's called adaptive brightness it uh, optimizes the brightness level for uh, the available light so it adapts to the, the environment pretty much auto brightness but uh, well uh, under another uh, name X reality for mobile it's still there if we go to sound and notification we have a couple of uh, new things the first one if we go to headphones general we are now presented with a list of um, hi-fi um, headphones unfortunately as i said it on the previous video i don't see on the list uh, on this list the um, mdr nc31 the active noise cancelling uh, headphones the ones that come with uh, the Sony Xperia Z2 or Z3. Um, I haven't tested them out uh, with um, the Sony Z Ultra after the update, but um, as you can see, now we have enabled the hi fi capabilities uh, for the, C uh, the Sony Z Ultra also. Another thing uh, that a lot of uh, users noticed and uh, started uh, complaining on the forums it's uh, still in audio settings. If we go, we no longer have XLoud and clear face. 
as you can see they are gone but you need to know one thing xloud is now uh, directly integrated in clear audio plus so if you enable clear audio plus xloud is still there it's present and uh, after the update uh, i haven't noticed any decrease in the volume um, of the sound coming from the loudspeaker so uh, keep in mind they uh, don't show up in the settings but they are still present they are still integrated in, uh, in this update some other things uh, that i have um, seen so far uh, as you can see the icons and the menu looks a bit flatter uh, the icons are a bit uh, different not uh, very much from the previous build but still it's a nice uh, nice improvement some other things uh, camera quality I have to say I tested it a bit uh, pictures at least on the Sony Z Ultra which we already know it's not uh, the best uh, device for uh, taking pictures but uh, pictures tend to look a bit uh, a bit better if you ask me um, some improvements in terms of um, image quality lesser noise um, better color reproduction but uh, this is from uh, from what I've noticed uh, it may be different for you everything is uh, pretty much the same same things are uh, are present in the camera app so uh, nothing uh, really changed only some uh, minor uh, improvements in terms of uh, image quality also although i'm running right now nova launcher because i don't like um, sony's uh, ui i don't like any om's ui uh, touch with uh, sense and uh, so on i'm using nova launcher but uh, the device uh, feels and runs uh, very very smooth uh, very snappy it's uh, opening apps very fast it loads them uh, very fast uh, and I haven't encountered any any issues any hiccups in this regards even YouTube uh, which is a pretty dreadful app if you ask me tends to load uh, a bit faster than it was on uh, KitKat 4.4 Also, with this update, we now have the possibility to record the screen at uh, full HD resolution, 30 frames per second, with some uh, really good audio quality. So uh, now in the power menu we have this option also, which uh, before was not here. And as I said, uh, it is a very very good update I've seen a lot of uh, users complaining on the forums about uh, battery drain um, some overheating I have no such problems with uh, with the device after the update always remember to perform a factory reset after doing uh, an update such as this one which is a very important update a big update and uh, about uh, battery life let's go i've taken some screenshots yesterday this was after uh, the first uh, cycle of uh, charging and discharging the battery you need to remember it takes a couple of uh, charging and discharging cycles until the battery um, gives you the best uh, performance so uh, I've unplugged uh, the device uh, from the charger and uh, started to use it uh, continuously until I uh, depleted the battery and these are the times that I got and as you can see right here I used a lot of uh, YouTube, Opera, Facebook, uh, watching some movies and so on and uh, I've gotten about uh, 6 hours and 45 minutes of screen on time which uh, is a very very good time if you ask me usually you'll get uh, one day and a half of uh, battery usage out of this battery so uh, compared to KitKat 4.4 in my case uh, I have to say battery has improved a bit 
uh, nothing spectacular uh, but uh, I do I do feel the fact that uh, some improvements were also made in uh, terms of battery life speaking also of uh, battery if we go to settings into power management we now have uh, ultra stamina mode we already know it from the Z2, Z3 and uh, it allows us to, to get uh, some longer periods of uh, usage out of the device stamina mode also has uh, added a couple of uh, things uh, such as extended uh, standby or uh, extended usage so these are some new things that came with uh, with this update also what can I say um, after using the device for a couple of days um, two days the device uh, really really feels like um, it has a new life like uh, I don't know it's very very responsive I haven't noticed any issues any bugs uh, whatsoever the only major uh, problem that I have if you ask me it's uh, in the recent apps uh, window where I notice uh, some slight micro lag when uh, closing the apps I don't know if you can see it but uh, sometimes um, it's very noticeable and I have to say that, that um, I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to, to such things also in uh, this uh, window there is no close all button unfortunately um, it would have been easier for me to just press that button and uh, have everything uh, closed but uh, well it is what it is speaking of uh, performance um, I've also taken some uh, benchmarks with uh, the Sony Z Ultra and uh, these are the results that I gotten 41,659 points in Antutu and this uh, keep in mind the Galaxy S5 which I previously owned uh, running on Android 5 Lollipop with uh, a better uh, CPU the Snapdragon 8 on 1 was giving me about uh, 44,000 uh, points in uh, this benchmark so for the Sony Z Ultra giving uh, close to what uh, the S5 uh, was giving me it's, uh, it's a very very important step and uh, actually this translates also in real life in a, a very good very solid uh, performance coming from the Sony Z Ultra after this update not uh, that I had uh, big complaints uh, previously to this uh, update but uh, it's really nice to see that uh, Sony it's uh, doing its best in optimizing uh, these updates and uh, trying to give the customers, the consumers, uh, their fan base uh, the best experience that uh, they could get as I said so far so good I'm very happy I haven't noticed any problems I actually have no uh, no issues with uh, this device and uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, with what uh, the update uh, brought uh, to the table Some people were asking uh, on the forums also about uh, RAM management which uh, previously on KitKat 4.4 wasn't uh, very bad at least for me I always had about uh, 850 to 900 uh, megabytes of free RAM on the device uh, things uh, have slightly improved with Android 5 I'm noticing that uh, usually I get about uh, 900 to 950 megabytes of free RAM so uh, not a very big uh, increase in the in the amount of free RAM but still uh, considerable and uh, you never know when uh, when you need uh, that RAM to be to be available okay this uh, pretty much does it uh, for this video 
I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it. Also, please share this video for others to see. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for future content. Also, make sure you follow me on my official Facebook page, Google+, Twitter and uh, also on Instagram. Where um, I post a lot of things that uh, possibly might interest you. So this pretty much does it. Uh, this was the Sony Xperia Z Ultra running on uh, Android 5.0.2 Lollipop official. And I have to say that uh, I really love this device, especially now with um, Android 5. I'm uh, very certain that this device will uh, support the next update to 5.1, simply for the fact that uh, the Z Ultra GPE already received the 5.1 uh, Lollipop update so um, I'm eager to see what uh, what the future holds for this device and maybe this year we'll, free, we'll see a successor to this uh, amazing phablet in uh, the flash of the Sony Xperia Z4 Ultra thank you guys for watching as always be safe be good your friend Gabriel Signing out. Peace.